Welcome back and today we're gonna be talking about in slash Spectre episode 4 so like always let's just jump into it Okay, so episode 4 of Inspector pretty much is like another trying to solve like a mystery murder thing. They're trying to find out who, uh, what is it, the steel lady Nanase, why she died and what was her cause of death. So this episode really there wasn't a lot of action going on. Like, you know, last episode we actually got to see a little bit of fighting between uh, Kotoko and Nanase and the whole relationship between uh Kotoko and Saki being built up and this episode we got a little bit uh, more of that now uh, This episode I kind of liked it better than episode 2 just for the fact that These characters that were involved in this little murder mystery were actually part of the main story, right? Like for example, we uh, Saki she's you know, she was uh, What was his name? Kuros ex-girlfriend and then Kotoko is obviously one of the main characters along with uh, Kuro and they're building a relationship so there, there are stakes involved here right because somebody could die right like if the wrong person like for example Saki last episode she tried to fight uh, Nanase and you know if it wasn't for uh, Kotoko saving her she would have gotten one shot for sure so th there are stakes involved so that's why I liked episode 4 a lot better than I liked episode 2 because just for the fact that all the main characters were involved, well, except Kuro, but we find out that Kuro has disappeared for what, like like a week now, and Kotoko can't get him to answer or anything at all. So I'm kind of wondering what's going on with him. Like, is he away with like family or something along with his powers? Is like, he, like you know, maybe he's like a werewolf, and that's why you know he has to disappear for like a certain amount of time. But then again, Saki said that he never did anything like that with her. So, I don't know. I'm, I'm sure we're going to find out why he was gone for a whole week. Because at the end of the episode, we see that uh, Kuro is back and he's fighting Nanase. So, we don't know if he was actually hunting her just to hunt her because she's trying to kill people or and causing accidents. Or if he just found her coming back from wherever he came. But... You know, whatever it is, I'm sure we're going to get an answer to his disappearance here in the next episode. I already know next episode is probably going to be a lit because Nana say from what we've seen in the four episodes, that's probably like the biggest ghost slash vengeful spirit that we've seen that's actually like powerful, right? Like she, she can actually fight. So we, we'll, we'll see how that's going to react against uh, Kuro and all that. But uh, this episode, I definitely love the fact that... Uh, Kotoko, even though she's 19, she's at her age, she's still kind of like a child, like she's pranking uh, Saki all the time. Like when when uh, Kotoko needed more information from the police, you know, she sent one of her spirits over to, to uh, Saki to give her a message saying, you know, uh, I need more information about uh, Nanase's death, how she died and all that. And the spirit was like, you know, don't, don't harm me, I, I'm just a messenger and all that. And she's like, I'm not going to harm you. And, and the spirit was like, uh, well, you know, our lady said that you're really violent and, you know, you're just crazy. So, of course, she gets mad. So, I thought that part was really funny. Same with the little kid where she was eating in the restaurant and she, she tells the kid, look, whenever Saki shows up, just, you know, just let her know where I'm at and all that. And she was like, the blood he had, she was smearing it all over his face to scare her and then he was like you know she'll probably let you play with her boobs and all that so it's just like a little childish friend banter i guess but i don't know because uh kotoko is definitely on the stalker side like all the pictures that she had with uh, kuro going on dates and just the fact that kuro looked literally mortified like he did not want to be there i thought that was funny as well uh you know i i think there's not going to be quite a love triangle. I, I mean, I hope it isn't going to turn into like a lover squirrel in between like Saki, uh, Kotoko, and Kuro. Like, I, I do want to see Kuro and Kotoko build a relationship. Like, Saki, you know, forget about her. She she dumped Kuro as soon as she found out he had all these special powers and the monsters were afraid of him. Just for that, she broke up with him. And now you see that Kotoko kind of, you know, doesn't call her out on it, but 
she sees that Kotoko accepts Kuro for what he is while she ran away as soon as she could just because of what she found out, like his powers and all that. So maybe there's a sense of jealousy there. I don't know, but I, I really don't want to see this turn into like a like a little love triangle for no reason, just for the sake of having a love triangle. It doesn't make sense, you know what I mean? Kuro and Saki, they're done, move on. I, I, I don't mind Saki being in the anime and being part of the team. I don't mind that at all. I like the character and you know her being part of the police force is definitely going to help especially with this case where they got to find out how Nanase died but you know I just don't want to see Kotoko and uh and and Saki be all over Kuro for no reason. I would like the pranks to continue though cuz I think that's the funniest bit in all these episodes Kotoko trying to piss off Saki. I think that's just funny as hell. But overall I think Nanase her death, I think there's going to be more. We're going to find out a lot more about how she died. Because if you think about it, right, at least to me, she died in a construction uh, site. And her death was estimated to be like between what, like 1 a.m. and like 2 or, you know, it, it was late at night. So I'm wondering, you know, what's a, a lady like her, like an idol, a famous person, one, being outside at that time alone and on top of that, why was she inside the construction site, right? Because when when I first heard that she died because of a steel beam fell on her, I thought it was just like a freak accident, right? Like she was walking down the street, construction, like somewhere over there, and the beam fell off and, you know, kind of just made its way and killed her. But in, in here we see that the way she actually died was she was inside the construction site and a shit ton of beams fell down and crushed her. She, they couldn't even identify her. So they had to use her ID and all that to identify who she was. And then we also got into the whole who murdered her dad or if if, if it was really an accident because her, her dad passed away because he fell down the stairs. Supposedly that's what happened and the police ruled it an, an accident. But before he died, he was pretty much hinting that his daughter was trying to kill him. So... Maybe she did kill him, who knows? But then we also find out that Nanase has a sister. So maybe she also has some, a role to play in her dying, right? Like maybe she told Nanase to meet her at the construction site to talk about her father or whatever, and then she caused the accident for her to die. That's just, that's just a theory right now. I don't know exactly what happened. Again, I'm sure we're gonna find out what happened with Nanase and all that. Now, another interesting uh, note was Kotoko made a reference saying that, you know, out of all the monsters, right? All the monsters, they're passive. They're not really like vengeful and, and, and they don't want to be known. They don't want people to know they're there. But Nana say, you know, she really is like a vengeful spirit. She's causing harm, which is kind of not normal for monsters. But on top of that, she also mentioned that when she faced her, right? When they actually met face to face, even though Nana say doesn't have a face, she will still be able to communicate with her. And she wasn't able to like she felt like she was a puppet so maybe there's like a mastermind behind all this and that's how we're gonna get to like a next arc where we just get a a, a lot of a lot of uh like monsters going berserk and stuff like that 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 would be a great twist because that way we'll, we'll be able to have like a main villain to focus on for this arc and, and that would just be great for this series but uh you know i, I kind of wish there would be more uh action because i mean the first episode even though like the first 15 minutes were kind of like like a like a lovers kind of romance type anime the ending was the thing that got me to go in into this anime right just kuro being a badass that's what did it for me and then you know we had episode two and that wasn't so good episode three was good i definitely liked episode three and i definitely liked episode four don't get me wrong but I, I kind of wish there was more like Kuro being a badass. And I think that's exactly what we're going to get next episode. Because at the end, when Kotoko went to face, uh, Na, uh, what's her name, Na, Nanase, Kuro was already engaged fighting that, that ghost. So how did they meet? What was the uh, circumstances that they actually found each other and started fighting? Is Kuro doing this for Kotoko? Or is he doing it just because he's like a good character and he just doesn't want other people getting hurt? Because again, Nanase is trying to kill people or has killed people. 
Like she's definitely causing harm. So may maybe that's why uh, Kotoko left for the whole week. He's trying to like pretty much just stop uh, Nanase from doing all this. And maybe since he doesn't have the help of all the other monsters like Kotoko uh, does, he's struggling to to find Nanase. And now he just finally found her and is trying to take her out. So maybe maybe we'll get to see his second power, right? Like the one where he, we still don't know what was the second monster he consumed. So maybe next episode we'll find out what it is. But this episode was great. I, I definitely loved the art. There wasn't a lot of animation to show off. Maybe we'll get a lot more of that next episode. But that's going to be it for this review. So like always, go ahead and subscribe. Leave me a like. And I will see you on the next episode.